Here's a first look at the new gotcha game that recently got a PC port, Goddess of Victory, Nikkei, the most realistic and immersive sci-fi third-person RPG on the planet. I mean, look at these guns. So realistic. This is the game we never asked for, but needed the most. I'm giving the game a spin first on the Shadow Boost tier. Lock and load, because it's gonna be juicy. Let's get this party started. Now as I mentioned, this is the PC port of the mobile app, so technically, this can be ran on a potato, but the boost tier is almost a potato status these days. And who doesn't want to play this incredibly accurate shooter in all 4K glory? Am I right? Okay, well, down to the usual business. The download for this game was pretty small, about 8 gigs for the entire game. Now what was weird was that I couldn't change the app settings until I got through the whole first chapter of the campaign. I could only play in windowed mode, not that it was a really big problem. Let me do some maintenance. Take off your top. What? Right here? Is there a problem? What I mean is, the commander is right there. You don't actually think the commander sees you that way, do you? Relax. To them, we're just emotionless fighting machines. Why are you always lying? <laughs> oh my god. <coughs> anyway, if you didn't know, these Nikkeis are basically female animated Terminators built to serve you. In battle, of course. And as you can see, this one is built for warfare. In someone's pants. Anyway, this is a kid-friendly channel, so back to business. Oh, I'm sure we can figure something out. Now, once you pass the first chapter, you'll get access to the game settings in which you can finally change if you desire to. Full screen it is, 4K glory, max graphic settings, physics definitely on. Now, this game was made by the creators of Tower of Fantasy, and it shows. The gacha mechanics are similar with unlocking new Nikkeis like this one. You can also check out all Nikkei skins and different animations that come along with it. Look at that accuracy. Spot on. Now this chick might be the most realistic looking soldier of them all. Game of the year. Now gameplay is pretty simple and somewhat boring in this game unfortunately. It's technically a mobile game so all you really need to do is point and click. I literally got through the whole first chapter of the campaign with just one hand. Not that I was doing anything with my other hand. Anyway, of course you'll have to level everyone up but that's generally everything you'll have to do in terms of gameplay. This isn't a full-blown 3D adventure game like Tower of Fantasy, but it is what it is. The cutscenes are probably more captivating than the gameplay, to be honest. But I keep coming back, because, uh, reasons. So if you're interested in another mindless gotcha game, here you go. Gotcha. Feel free to download this game and give it a try, but to be honest with you, you probably won't need a gaming PC, let alone a cloud gaming PC, to run this. Look, even the Shadow Boost here can play this at 4K at max settings. Just plug a potato in and you're set. Anyway, if you like this overview of Goddess of Victory in Nikkei, give us a like. Also, make sure to join as a member of the channel or join our Patreon and our Discord in the links below. And above all else, make sure to stay strong, gents, and subscribe to keep it locked right here at the only place where you can do battle in gaming heaven, Cloud Gaming Battle. You're in my line of fire if you know what I mean. Jesus, take the wheel. <laughs>